Hello my dear children welcome to learn as planet children we will study about growing plants and in this session you will learn about the importance of plants and growing plants from seeds and also we will study about the process of dispersion all right children so let's start with the session 1 of growing plant children you must have seen plants being grown in gardens and fields right whenever you step out of the home and you visit garden or any field you see many different types of plants right there are varieties of plants in the garden and fields so we can say that plants are grown in gardens and fields also but children have you ever imagined that why do people grow them why children this is because we get a lot of things from plants all right and that is why we consider plants as a very important need for us so growing plants is important as our life depends largely and solely on them we need plants for various purposes right like building houses even in ancient times people used to use wood from the plants for cooking right they used to fire wood and they used to cook food on that so in modern times also for building purposes for industrialization and for building many houses we use plants and even we get a lot of things like food from the plants so children we should grow plants many 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 more we should grow plants as much as possible so children plants and plant products meet our everyday needs right we need to grow more and more plants so always remember children that we need plants and plant products because they meet our everyday needs right so we should plant more and more trees so children now we will study about seeds what is actually a seed yes children seeds are very helpful for a plant to reproduce right they are very small in structure and as you can see in this picture a boy is scattering seeds on the soil and you can see that after some time what happens a seed helps a plant to reproduce plant grows from the seeds right so we already know that seeds help a plant to reproduce but what is the twist yeah not only seeds but other parts of the plant such as stem root and leaf can also grow into new plants right but in this session we will just study about the growing plants from seeds all right so children if you eat papaya or watermelon you will find seeds inside them right you will observe that there are many seeds present inside them right so why they are present because new plants can grow from these seeds only and how they grow have you ever observed a seed carefully yes or no okay if you observe any type of seed for example if you took if you take bean seed what happens yes an outer covering called as seed coat protects the baby plant inside the seed as you can see here a man is scattering seeds and after some time or some days we see that plants grow on them so how is it possible children what is actually a seed yes a seed has a, a, an outer covering which protects the baby plants inside the seed and this is known as seed coat all right this another thing is the seed coat has a tiny hole through which the seed gets water right so we will discuss about all the factors for which a seed needs to grow into a new plant so always remember children that 
there is an outer covering to protect the baby plant inside the seed which then co grows into a new plant and that is known as seed coat right and the seed coat also has tiny hole through which the seed gets water all right and even the seed leaves are also called as cotyledons and what is the function of cotyledons yes seed leaves or cotyledons store food for the baby plant and after the seed coat bursts and outer covering has been burst a baby plant grows from inside the seed into a new big plant all right children you will be amazed to know that all seeds do not grow into new plants how is it possible how can we say as we discussed that new plants can grow not only from seeds but also from the other parts of the plant such as stem root and leaf right so we can say that all seeds do not grow into new plants but what is this picture showing these are birds right what is this showing what is it describing yes some seeds are eaten up by birds and insects and some get destroyed by the environmental factors like rain or wind while some of the seeds do not get sufficient air water or warmth from the sun to grow that is why we can say that all seeds do not grow into new plants right if they are lacking any of the environmental factor such as food water air food means nutrition from the soil or water or air or warmth from the sun to grow then they will not be able to grow and if the plants do not grow from the seeds then the other parts of the plant are capable of growing them into a new plant all right children so always remember that some seeds are eaten up by birds and insects and some are destroyed by the natural calamities and also because of rain or wind right and some seeds do not get sufficient air water or warmth from the sun to grow right and that is why they are not able to grow into a new plant so children we can say that all seeds do not grow into new plants children you might have heard about a story a fairy tale right in that they show that some seeds are true on the ground and they grow into a giant stalk right or a giant plant but is it the correct thing is it applicable to all the plants no for example beans if we throw some seeds of beans on the ground the beans do not grow from the seeds is it possible yes this is possible beans do grow from the seeds but all the plants do not grow from the seeds this is one such example of bean that grow from seeds if we throw some seeds of beans on the ground right so that fairy tale the story of the fairy tale is correct one right beans do grow from seeds we will also see many such examples from which we can conclude that other parts of the plants also grow into new plants all right so i hope you are clear with this all right children children seed is also very important in other ways why because seed produces a baby plant or we can also call a baby plant as a seedling right so seed produces a baby plant or seedling if the seed gets the right amount of water air and warmth from the sun right as you can see here these are some of the seeds hanging on the trees right so this is actually a baby plant this is a seed coat that is the covering outer covering of the seed and it protects the baby plant inside the seed so this is a seed coat right so seed produces a baby plant which is present inside the seed coat or the seedling 
if the seed gets the right amount of water, air and warmth. And if any of the factor is lacking, then what happens? A seed is not able to produce a seedling or a baby plant because it needs all these factors and that too in the right amount. Then only it will be able to grow into a very healthy plant. Alright? So always remember that water, air and warmth from the sun are many many important factors are very important factors for the seed to grow into a baby plant or seedling all right children so what is actually germination children yes we studied about seeds right and seeds also produces a baby plant right so what is this actually process called as yes the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or a seedling is called germination because a seed germinates into a new plant, right? And that is why we also say that seed helps a plant to reproduce, right? So the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or a seedling only after getting right amount of air, water and warmth from the sun is called as germination. So is it clear to you? What is germination? Yes. A seed produces a baby plant or seedling after getting all the factors which we studied, right? Air, water and warmth. And that is called as germination. Alright children? So what is actually germination? What happens in the stages of germination? Yes, during the early stages of germination, the seedling or the baby plant gets the food required for its growth from the cotyledons. Alright, we studied about cotyledons. Yes, what are cotyledons children? They are the seed leaves, right? So seed leaves or cotyledons, what is the function of cotyledons? Yes children, try to recall. Yes. Cotyledons store food for the baby plant and baby plant is inside the seed and what is covering the baby plant? What is the protecting the baby plant? Yes, it is an outer covering. Yes, it is an outer covering called a seed coat which protects the baby plant and cotyledons store food for the baby plant. Right? So always remember that seed leaves or cotyledons store food for the baby plant and during the early stages of this germination the seedling gets food from the cotyledons all right from where do the seed gets food from the cotyledons and that too during the early stages of germination why because during the early stages of germination it is a very small baby plant right it is a very small plant. It hasn't grown into a new plant yet. Means into a big plant yet. Right? So during these early stages, the seedling will get the food from the cotyledons because cotyledons store food for the baby plant. Alright? And after that only, they will be able to grow into a very big and healthy plant. Alright? So you can see here, this person, what he is doing? Yes, he is actually sowing the seed, right? We will observe, we will notice and we will learn all such stages of agriculture and even the germination. Alright, so let's see. Children, the stored food which is present inside the cotyledons are then used up by the baby plant, right? As we discussed that cotyledons store food for the baby plant, right? So what happens after that? Yes, the stored food inside the cotyledons are used up by the baby plant, right? That is the seedling, right? So what we can say if you are asked that where does the seedling get its food from the, from, right? It gets, to, it gets the food which is stored inside the cotyledons, right? And they use this stored food inside them and after that 
they absorb water and nutrients from the soil with the help of their roots right so let's see the seedling absorbs water and nutrients from the soil with the help of these roots right children do you remember roots how many types of roots are there yes two types of roots are there tap root and fibrous root so this is a tap root which consists of one main root right and the fibrous roots are the roots which have more than one main root all right children so these are the roots and what is the function of roots roots will absorb the water and nutrients from the soil and they will provide these nutrients and water to the seedling or the baby plant and when the seedling will absorb the water and nutrients from the soil with the help of roots they will grow into a new or the big plant all right children so is it clear to you so roots are such a structure that provide water and nutrients even from the soil they will they are acting as a medium for the seeds to grow into a new plant right so soil contains all the vital nutrients and water also that is why you must have noticed that we always pour water or we always give water to the plants in the bottom surface right not on the upper surface all right so what happens the soil will take the water inside it right we always provide water to the soil not to the whole plant right so what happens the soil will have water and nutrients right and after that the seedling will absorb these water and nutrients from the soil with the help of this medium that is the part of this plant called as roots right so roots are also very important part of the plant as they play a very important part in growing of a plant all right children so we can say that the seedling will absorb water and nutrients and after that they develop leaves and grows into a new plant all right children so the seedling then develops leaves and grows into a new and healthy plant all right children and as we discussed all the environmental factors right air is also required for germination right what is actually germination children it is the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or seedling right so for a seed to produce into a seedling it also require air right it absorbs water and nutrients from the soil but it also requires air for its germination process so we can say that air is provided from the seed how does it provides air yes the seed coat has a tiny hole as we discussed that the seed coat that is the outer covering of the seed has a tiny hole through which the seeds get water right and it also has pores from which it can get air also right so the seed gets air from the atmosphere and it goes inside the seed coat or the seed through the seed coat through pores all right children so air is also very important for the germination process right and so we can say that soil is very important for the growth of a plant because the seed gets water air and even nutrients from the soil so soil is very important for the growth of a plant all right children so is it clear to you children